Hi there, this is just a short video of a couple of extension equilibrium questions if you're studying A-level physics and doing mechanics. So here's the first question. Just pause the video and attempt this question and then I shall take you through it and show you how to do it. So we're after the tension in the rope. And this question is actually a... It's a moments question combined with uh, equilibrium. So a uniform block of width 0 0.3 meters is placed. So its right hand side edge is 0 0.4 meters from the end of a uniform two meter long beam. So this beam is two meters and it's uniform. So the mass of the beam is four kilograms. So from the center, we get a force of 4 times g. So 4 times 9.81 gives us a force of 39.24 newtons. The block has a mass of 2 kilograms, so the force is 2 times 9.81, which is 19.62 newtons. 19.62 newtons. And what we need to do is establish the, we need to take moments and we need to take moments from this point here. The reason why is because there's some kind of reaction force coming off this wall. It maybe is going this way, but we're not privy to that. We don't know what that force is. Um, we don't know what angle it's at. So we could do with eliminating it. So we've got to take moments from that point. So the distance to the center of the beam is, is one meter. The distance to the block now it's 0 0.4 meters from the end, and then we've got the width of the block to take it out. It's a uniform block, so that means that its weight would act at its center. So we need to do the 0 0.4 plus 0 0.15. So that gives a distance from the end of the beam of 0 0.55 meters. So we need to do two meters, subtract that distance. And that gives us 1.45 meters to the center of the block. 1.45 meters. So what we can do now is use moments to find the vertical tension. So let's do moments. So clockwise is equal to anti-clockwise. So clockwise, we've, we've got the 39.24 times one meter. So that gives us a moment of 39.24. And then we need to add the other moment going clockwise is the 19.62 newtons from the block multiplied by 1.45. And 19.62 times 1.45 is 28.5. So we've got the 28.5 there going clockwise. So that's clockwise finished. Now we've got equal to the anti-clockwise moment which is the vertical tension. So tension vertical multiplied by the distance, which is two meters. So to get the vertical tension, we need to do 39.24 plus 28.5 divided by two. So that gives a vertical tension of 33.9 newtons. So now we've got the vertical tension. We need to find the tension. So, so now what I'm going to do is clear this. So make sure that you've followed that and that you've got the, the vertical tension. You know how to, ca how to calculate that. So I'm just going to clear this. And then on this diagram, we've got this vertical tension, which is the 33.9. Newtons. So that's the vertical component of the tension in this cable. So to get the tension, we just need an angle. Because we know the, the height is 1.5 meters and we know the length is 2 meters. So we've got the opposite and the adjacent. So tan theta is equal to 1.5 over 2. So theta is inverse tan, 1.5 over 2, which is 
37 degrees. Then we can switch to calculating the tension. So essentially we've got the vertical component, 33.9 newtons. We've now got the angle, which is 37 degrees. So we can calculate the tension. So we've got the opposite, we want the hypotenuse. So that's sine, so sine 37 is equal to opposite, which is 33.9, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the tension T. Therefore, the tension T is equal to 33.9, divided by sine 37. So that gives us 56 newtons. Hopefully you got that okay. Let's move on to the next one. So let's have a go at this one, just pause the video. And then this one might take a while, take some thinking, and then I'll take you through how to do it in full. So suppose the above system is in equilibrium and the weight, W2, is 200 newtons. Find tension 1, tension 2, tension 3, and weight 1. So what we need to do is to split this thing in half, like this. Deal with the right-hand side and then the left-hand side. So the right-hand side. So weight 2 was given us 200 newtons. So we've got 200 newtons acting down. Because this is in equilibrium, the vertical component T1 must also be equal to 200 newtons. So with that information, we can then find, let's find T2 first of all. T2 pulling that way would be equal to the horizontal component of T1 pulling in that direction. So we just need to use trigonometry to find T2 and then trigonometry to find T1 which we can do now. So let's level it up. So opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So let's find T, T2 first. So that would be tan 37 is equal to opposite, which is 200 divided by the adjacent, which is T2. Therefore T2 is equal to 200 divided by tan 37 which gives us tension 2 of 265.41 newtons if you put 265 that's fine it's not a problem let's move on then let's do the hypotenuse now to find t1 so the hypotenuse and we're going to use the opposite, the 200 Newton. So that will be sine 37 is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So that will be 200 divided by hypotenuse T1. Therefore, T1 is simply 200 divided by sine 37. So that gives T1 of 332.3 newtons. Hopefully that's okay. Let's have a look at the, the other side. So the key to this is the fact that we, we already know T2. Which is 265.41 newtons. So if we've got 265.41 newtons pulling to the right, then the horizontal component of T3 must also be equal to 265.41 newtons. So we can get T3 straight away. We've got a triangle. So let's label this up. So we've got the adjacent, which is the 265.41. And we need the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse is cos. So we've got cos 
is equal to adjacent, which is 265.41. divided by T3. Therefore T3 is equal to 265.41 divided by cos 53. So T3 is 441 newtons. So what's left is to find W1. So if we can find W1 acting down must be equal to the vertical component of T3, which would also be W1. So we just need to do trigonometry again to find that. So we need the opposite, and we have the we'll use the adjacent. So that would be tan, opposite and adjacent. So tan theta, so tan 53 is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So W1 divided by the adjacent value, which is the 265.41 newtons. Therefore, weight 1 is equal to tan 53 multiplied by the 265.41 newtons. Therefore, W1 is 352 newtons. A few challenging questions there. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll speak to you soon.